Hey guys, what's up, it's Eiflin here, and today we're going to be learning how to play Mag. Now, Mag has a really bad reputation, and I don't really know why. I think it just comes down to not a lot of players knowing necessarily how Mag works. There's a lot of different ways to build her. Uh, some ways are better than others, and it really depends on what you're looking to prioritize uh, when you're playing Mag, right? So, for example, you could play her for straight up crowd control using her 1 and her 4. So, her first ability, her 1. If we just go ahead and spawn in Bombards, we use it. If we get closer to these guys, we use it. And it makes the bad guys ragdoll. Pretty funny ability, right? Deals magnetic damage. It's cool. Fourth ability is going to pick the enemies up, crush them, and then damage dealt to the enemies is going to come back to you in the form of overshields, which is fun and cool, but it's not the most damaging ability in the world. And then that leaves her two and her three. The two and the three are meant to be used in conjunction with one another. So you're meant to use the three to strip away enemy armor or shields, which is going to leave behind these little, like, uh, balls right here right this is shrapnel and then you use your second ability magnetize to pick the shrapnel up and then that's going to pass through all the enemies and then you put as much damage as possible into the bubble to kill the bad guys inside it and then it's going to do a little explosion whenever the damage runs out and damage any enemies left inside uh, or around it right and the more damage you churn into that bubble uh, the higher damage the explosion is going to do. So you could build her for range, you could build her for negative duration, you could build her for range and positive duration. It all really depends on how you want to play her. Trying to get a balance of everything, like a lot of power strength, a lot of uh, range, and maybe a decent bit of duration because you don't want to go overboard because whenever you use your, uh, your magnetized ability, you want those explosions to be going off as much as possible, but also have them dealing as much damage as possible type of thing. So go for your own... Uh, balance, like a balance that suits you, right? Are you confident enough with the amount of damage that you're able to turn into a bubble, uh, depending on the weapon setup that you're using and different things like that, right? So I'll show you like a generalized Umbral mag build, and I think I have a more specialized one on my other mag. Yes, this is 36 uh, percent duration with 160 efficiency, 235 range, and 164 percent power strength. Where this one is more catered towards uh, strength, has a little bit less range and a little bit more duration. So you know it, it's really up to you to kind of experiment with which one uh, suits you, right? So with magnetized on this, we got uh, a duration of 5.48 seconds, and then the other one, I'm guessing it's more around seven or eight seconds. If I could not go into the upgrade screen. For some reason, ever since like the last orb fight update, it's been a lot slower. I mean, okay, it's uh, 11 seconds. Okay, not too bad. So, yeah, I can just show this build off in today's video. I guess that makes a lot more sense. The idea is you use your third ability to strip away the enemy's resistances, and they leave behind these little shards, which is going to uh, increase the damage that you deal shooting the target that's affected by magnetize right so whenever i say the target that is affected by magnetize i mean the enemy that you cast it on right that guy is going to take far more damage compared to the other enemies that get pulled into the magnetized bubble so if you pay attention we spawn in these bombards and we cast our second ability the enemies surrounding this guy right here they're going to be sucked in right they get sucked into it we deal bonus damage to this guy but less damage to the surrounding enemies. Now, I know I one-shot all of them, but that's because I'm extremely overpowered and I'm using a an extremely overpowered build for what I'm trying to demonstrate, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm saying, okay? You deal more damage to the first target that you inflict, and then all surrounding enemies, they're going to have more damage over time dealt to them, because if you pay attention, let's go ahead and spawn these guys in. We use our third ability, right? You'll notice that we deal damage over time, right? The more damage you churn into this bubble, the higher that damage over time is going to go. So you see it goes up to about 45 damage per tick, right? So what you want to be doing is using weapons that have punch through, right? The reason you want to use weapons that have punch through is because it's going to like damage those enemies multiple times. Uh, and it's going to like kind of look like... Uh, 
more DPS, right? So you're going to fire one shot and it's going to affect the target that you initially shot at multiple times. And then it's going to keep passing through all of the enemies because think of it kind of like going around a circle in the magnetized bubble, which is why the likes of snipers or weapons where you threw on a punch free mod are very, very good. Like you could even do this with a Tigris if you really, really wanted to. Um, but the two weapons that I usually use are the Lenka and also the Mara Detron, right? So with the Mara Detron, I think that the effects are a little bit more noticeable, right? So I like going for gas damage. I'm using radiation and gas on this build. Uh, radiation because we're fighting bombards, right? So radiation damage deals more damage versus those guys. And then gas for the damage over time. And you'll notice that. So it's kind of like you're stacking two damage over time effects, right? So you've got Hornet Strike, Barrel Fusion, Lethal Torrent for your damage and multi-shot. We've got our Prime Heated Charge for our uh, gas damage. Combine that with Pathion Rounds. We've got Seeker on there for our Punch Free. Because the Mara Detron shoots multiple shots, as you can see... You can see how many shots that it shoots out. It's insane. Uh, and it's also got pretty high status chance. I should point that out as well. We can use Scorch and Pistol Pestilence to get, you know, a decent amount of status chance on there. And then we can leave those gas clouds behind. And then because we're dealing bonus damage to the initial target that we get with Magnetize, those gas damage over time or those gas procs, those are going to be a lot more damaging. So you have the initial damage over time effect, which is increased by the amount that you shoot into the bubble. Then you've got the damage over time effect on your gas, which is then amplified by the fact that you're dealing bonus damage to the initial target that you're shooting at whenever you're shooting into the bubble. And it's just like damage over time heaven, right? You can also combine that with the fact if you're using the sniper, for example, which we have gas damage on, you've got the punch through, which is going to keep on going through all the enemies. You also have the punch through and the Mara Detron. We've got the Prime Beam mod on here, which is going to double dip the, uh, the what's it called, the uh, the gas damage. We could also actually throw that on the Mara Detron, if you think about it. So we have an Expel mod. So let's go ahead and throw an Expel mod. We're fighting against Corrupted. We could throw that in place of Scorch. Of course, we have lower status chance and we have lower gas damage, but this is going to triple dip those gas procs and it's just going to deal more damage overall, which is going to be insane. Um, but you've got this and this triple dips this 55% bonus on those gas procs, same with the Expel mod that we just equipped on the Mara Detron. Uh, you also have like really insane ribbons. It's just damage heaven, okay? So what you want to be doing if you're using a sniper, you probably don't even want to know all the in-depth ramblings about it, right? You just want to know how do I kill things fast? Get a sniper, punch through, gas damage, critical damage, prime beam mod maxed out, spawn in your bombards, your heavy gunners, Okay, having them pause does not give us any type of bonus, by the way, just in case somebody wants to try to be a smart ass in the comments and say, but you have a damage, but I don't have a damage bonus. You know, use your free once to leave behind these little things. Cast your two, scope in fully, let go, and everything's dead. Boom. Mag sucks, by the way. Um, and then with the Mara Deathron, the same thing. Use your free, second, and just spam into the bubble. Look at the damage over time. It's absolutely crazy. And you just want to be shooting in there as much as you can. And then this explosion, whenever it finally explodes, is going to kill all the enemies in there. And dead. Right? So the more range you have on, the bigger that explosion is. And also, any incoming fire, like anything that the enemies are trying to shoot at you, is also going to pass through that bubble. And it's going to amplify the damage of that explosion. It's going to deal more damage to the target that you initially shot at. So if you don't actually end up killing the target that you initially casted your second ability on, you're going to get that energy refunded and the bubble isn't going to explode. So if we let this 11 second duration run out, it's got four seconds left. And you see it down in the bottom right hand corner. New explosion. It just disappears and you get the energy back. So you got to make sure that you're killing that target that you initially affected. It should be easy though. Like because he's going to be taking bonus damage, it should be easy. On top of that fact, if you are struggling killing the bad guys, the more power strength you have on, the more resistance you're going to uh, strip away from the enemies, right? So, so let's say you're playing against Corpus, you're going to strip away the shields with your third ability. If you're playing against armored enemies, you're going to strip away the armor, right? So multiple casts of your third ability will strip away the armor or the shields completely. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. I think it's 13. Maybe not. 14. Okay, so that's close. 14 casts of your third ability will strip away all the armor from level 160 enemies. Now, level 160 enemies are enemies that you're going to come across in the likes of an endurance run, right? You're not going to find these types of enemies in the star chart, but these enemies having new armor makes them far easier to kill, all right? So we're just going to straight up one-shot these guys more or less. Like, they die extremely fast. I did have my Kavat buff on there, which is kind of unfair. A little bit overkill, but, like, you should be running a Smita Kavat or an Adarza Kavat anyway. They're kind of meta at the minute, so I would definitely 110% recommend having these guys on. But the highest level enemy that you're going to come across in the likes of a sortie level mission, so tier 3 sortie, is level 110. So, realistically, it would be more like maybe 10, 11 casts. Let's see. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight casts, right? Eight casts. Okay, so I was I was completely off with that guess, but you can see that we actually did take a decent chunk of their health out just by casting that eight time, uh, those eight times. But if you're playing this level of content anyway, chances are you probably have weapons that are able to kill these types of guys. But Mag can kind of like car you into this content because of that third ability, right? And then you combine that with the damage bonus that you get from those little shards and also the second ability making the explosion and stuff, then mag becomes an extremely insane frame. So let's check this out. We're all dead again. Maybe not. Let the explosion do the work, I guess. Damage over time and the gas procs and just the bubble itself. Let's wait for the duration to run out if that guy doesn't die beforehand. And he's dead, so... You know, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna keep on getting sucked in to that bubble. He's not gonna be able to escape, right? So, what you should ideally be doing with Mag is casting this on enemies who are coming through doorways, right? Because then that way, if you're playing the legs of a survival or a defense mission, you're sucking all of these enemies into this bubble as they spawn. They're basically not leaving their spawn, and you're more or less insta-killing them, right? It's more like guaranteed death. So you just get this Lenka sniper rifle, or any sniper rifle for that matter, and then have gas damage on it, right? Of course, that's not 110% ideal all the time, but um, with the type of content that you'll be playing... Um, at least going into the story level stuff, I think a gas damage build should be fine. So let's actually go ahead and test it out. Just just because I'm interested to see how it would fare up against... Uh, what's it called? So I do have ribbons for my Rubico, but I'm just going to go ahead and put together a build that doesn't include uh, ribbons real fast. Just to kind of demonstrate. So would I even be able to? Do I have enough room on this build? That is the question. So we'd be using the likes of Vigilante Armaments. There we go. Let's throw that on there, and we're running our gas damage. That's infect the clip and our hellfire. It's gas, split chamber. What am I missing here? I could throw on something else. I could probably throw on a ribbon, actually. Well, let's see if I throw that there. Can I? No, I can't. Unfortunate. Um, I don't know what I'm missing. Vital sense. I'm missing vital sense. How can I forget that mod? That mod's like an essential. That's kind of a really messed up way of modding, but... Yeah, I kind of confused myself a little bit. So we got gas damage on our Rubico. And uh, let's spawn in our Bombards. And do the exact same thing. So you could use that exact build on a regu regular Rubico. It's very, very important that you're using the Prime Beam mod though. And making sure that you have that maxed out. Otherwise, it'd be better using something else. Like maybe another element. Uh, Bleed It Rounds, Argon Scope, etc. So let's just go ahead and test this out. So we cast, fully scope in. You can see that we don't get, you know, as insane effects, but you still get those very, very beefy uh, gas procs. Well, it's, it's toxin procs, but that's because the gas clouds, the gas cloud is the status proc of gas, and then the gas cloud leaves behind toxin procs. So think of the prime beam mod as kind of stacking that 55% at every point of contact. So you got the initial bullet hitting the bad guy, then you've got the gas cloud, and then you have the toxin proc. So it's 55, 55, 55 for the gas proc, and then the same can be said for your Maradetron, right? So, it's the exact same thing. Your point of contact, and then the gas cloud, and then the toxin, so on and so forth. So, I recommend the Lenka and the Maradetron. 
whatever you're playing mag and I'll show you the exact builds. Let's go for the Lanka. The Lanka looks, it's not that one. It's my eight former one. The Lanka build looks a little bit like this. And if you don't have a, a ribbon, use Val Acceleration and that's going to let you get off more shots into your bubble because it's going to increase the fire rate, right? So that minus 15% because you're already dealing so much damage is kind of negligible. Uh, your fire rate makes up for it in terms of DPS. So that's cool. But we have serration split chamber for damage multi-shot, point strike for critical chance, vital sense for critical damage, prime being of corrupted for the triple dip. And then you've got your infected clip hellfire for your gas. And then I've got my ribbon on here, which gives me more damage, more fire rate, and more critical damage for minus status serration. Minus status duration, if you're building a Lenka like this, actually hurts it because you want those gas clouds and those toxin procs to be lasting for as long as possible. But because of like high insane damages using mag, then it doesn't really matter too much, right? So we just cast our free once. We cast our bubble, fully scope in, fully charge, and then we let it go. And then those guys are basically all dead, right? Like they die insanely fast because of the idiot punch through and the damage bonus and all that jazz. And you have the explosion after that, which is also really nice so if you're putting that on the legs of a spawn new enemies getting free and then the mara detron of course you've got your primed expel cor corrupted or whatever faction it is that you're playing against versus corpus this is going to be even more insane uh the only downside is that radiation damage actually hurts versus the shields i'm pretty sure we've got hornet strike barrel fusion lethal torrent for damage multi-shot then we have prime heated charge pathogen rounds for our gas seeker for the punch through pistol pestilence it's important to use pistol pestilence over uh scorch because this is actually going to increase the damage of the damage over time on your gas procs right if that makes any sense because it's like a toxin proc the uh toxin dual stat increases the damage of the damage over time right where the uh the fire one would just increase the overall damage off the initial shot is a way to explain it i guess i think that's it i'm not too sure but just just throwing that out there you can also hear my dad sneeze in the background. That's interesting. So yeah, bad guys die fast with mag. I'm kind of repeating myself at this point, but it's really, really insane. Really, really powerful. And then you also have other things outside of that buffing you up, such as your Kavat and uh, your teammates maybe using Crusoe Projection and the likes. So that's mag you can even use shotguns and stuff it's really down to you let's just go ahead and use the comb for shits and giggles i've got magnetic and gas comb my dad is on a sneezing rampage in the background i don't know if you guys can hear it but status chance cold fire rate minus damage to infested let's try this out just just to see how insane it is so use your three use your two and it should into it you got those gas clouds being left behind the damage over time is pretty nutty Right, so that's more the comb doing the work, but it's because you have all those enemies gripped up, it's even it's even cooler. So, yeah, that's Mag. Uh, she's not necessarily a bad frame, you just kind of have to know how to play her. Uh, she can do some pretty crazy things, implying you play her, right? So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.